Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, it's a little bit of a short broadcast. I want to bring you a little bit up to date on some issues about the Ukraine conflict. And, uh, of course, Poland and another country looking together to come in to try to fight uh, Russia inside of Ukraine. Going to talk about that in just a moment here with you. Uh, also, along with uh, uh, some more information here, in particular, Douglas McGregor, what he's saying about this, uh, which that is what he's talking about, the Lithuanians and the Poles coming in, also the Poles annexing the land there. And then this particular man, Mr. Shokin, uh, I'm going to be talking about him a little bit as well, uh, and Victor Shokin. I actually contacted him before the war and was trying to get him to go public. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about him, and uh, hopefully we could still get him on here on Israeli News Live to discuss the situation in Ukraine, especially the situation with Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. Uh, that's something you're going to really be interested in, no doubt. Uh, before I get into that, though, let me let you know that here in just a little bit, in about an hour at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Rumble, we're going to be on Daily Excellence there with Pastor, uh, Pastor Anthony. And we're going to be doing, as it's titled here, Tuesday Night Live Alien Disclosure with Pastor Anthony and Stephen Benoon. You definitely want to check that out. So that's why I'm trying to go quickly to get this video up so we have that link in there. And I do want to uh, just briefly mention here some issues there uh, regarding my father-in-law and this video that we put out, The Dose Makes the Poison. Uh, now that's iConnectFX.com is where it's actually hosted at, uh, but you can still catch that 30-second clip there on our on our YouTube channel. And by the way, those of you that do not know how to do this, when you go to the description, there's your link right there. If you click on that link, it will take you directly to iConnectFX.com. Uh, occasionally, you run into somebody that doesn't, they're running into, I guess, a cookies issue. Uh, I don't really understand how that really works. Uh, I can tell you now, I happen to love cookies because, especially if they're oatmeal raisin, but we won't go into that. It's a different issue. It's a weakness uh, that we don't don't need to talk about right now. Anyway, though, I, I do want, though, it's also, though, available on Yana's Odyssey channel. So you can watch it on Odyssey as well. Uh, so if that cookie issue is a problem with iConnect and Odyssey is better for you, Odyssey forward slash Israeli News Live, that should take you to Yana's channel and you can, you can catch it over there. Um, let's go real quick, though, to this issue about Ukraine. The why the Ukraine counteroffensive is making little progress against Russia's defense. Uh, this is the article that they've got coming out there. Uh, and it's really kind of weird. As many fighters has been, that have been contracted and brought in, uh, the U.S., Germany also, they're there. Uh, we are actually operating our own Abrams tanks. It's not Ukrainians are operating those. Same thing with the Panzers. Uh, Germany is involved in that. There is a lot of NATO uh, people involved in Ukraine fighting this battle, and the world's never being told about that. So Russia is really right when they say they're really fighting a NATO uh, war anyway. But, but then you have, too, where uh, Douglas is saying that evidence is emerging that the Poles and Lithuanians may be putting together some sort of intervention in Ukraine outside the realm of NATO. What well, doesn't matter if you're outside of the realm of NATO or not. Once they enter into the conflict and Russia engages them, well, guess what? You're going to have a NATO battle. Now NATO will be obligated to come to the uh, to the aid of a NATO member that's uh, being really beaten pretty bad, and that's going to cause an all-out conflict. And the other thing is, is we're seeing this happening. Um, uh, it's already uh, this is really becoming a situation that uh, some of the people that I know in intel circles are having problems with and because Russia, Putin is really being pushed back with his, uh, his arms are against the ropes. And there is a great concern for nuclear conflict over this. And, uh, but they're just not wanting to tell people about how serious this really is. And uh, so at any rate there, let me bring you over here too, um, to, to, uh, this article, this thread, thread from Colin Rugg, where, uh, and I want to thank uh, uh, Charles for, for sharing this with me. Biden was acting in his own interest, not the interest of the American people. Shokin went as far as to say that Joe Biden had reason to fear for his son. Joe Biden has reason to fear that the investigation would eventually fall on his son. And 
I actually, I've got his email address, which anybody could probably find it online anyway. And, uh, you know, this man right here is who I was trying to get in touch with before Russia came in. And there was a great hope that him being willing to talk about what Hunter Biden and Joe Biden had done inside the country and all these illegal deals that they were doing uh, for this gas and things like that, that if that information was exposed, that we might be able to keep this war from happening. But unfortunately, it did not happen and we were not able to connect. But uh, I am still reaching out to him, so I'm hoping that he will, will come on. I know that the Ukrainian Secret Service is monitoring his every move. KGB is monitoring his every move, uh, as well as CIA and a few other agencies that are monitoring this poor guy's every move. Uh, let's listen a little bit to what he has to say here. You have to watch the subtitles there because he is speaking in the Ukrainian or Russian language. I'm not sure which. Only my wife could tell me that answer. На 23 миллиона Крачевского я назначил служебное расследование, возбудил уголовное дело, которое касалось, каким образом были сняты и почему были сняты эти деньги, арестованные в Великобритании. Больше того, практически за 10-12 дней до написания мой заявления об уходе судом 2 февраля 2016 года были арестованы активы Злачевского, его личные сбережения, имущество, машины и так далее. В ходе следствий, которые мы проводили до этого, были наложены аресты также на скважины, на иные материальные блага Злачевского. То, что пытаются преподнести как спящим, на самом деле это неправда. Я прекрасно понимаю, что США располагают, наверное, одной из самых сильных разведок в мире. И, естественно, за процессом расследования буризмы очень внимательно смотрели не только легальным путем, но и нелегальным путем. Видимо, господину Байдену доложили, что мы подходим к тому моменту, что начнутся допросы его сына и остальных лиц, Арчера, ну и других лиц, которые причастны к этой ситуации по делу буризма. И они понимали, прекрасно понимали, что это может закончиться довольно для них плачевно. Я никого не обвиняю, повторяю, потому что у вас есть презумпция невиновности в Украине. Но я практически уверен, что Байден прекрасно понимал, что я намеков о прекращении дела буризмы не воспринял. Я шел дальше, я и мои коллеги, и мы дойдем до логического завершения этой ситуации. This is what I was already understanding as well, that he already had the evidence. He has the evidence on Biden, on Hunter, and their illegal involvement. And this is why even the Nord Stream pipeline being blown up, et cetera, all of that. Um, uh, you know, so the thing is, this man has the goods. And sadly enough, of course, no doubt. And I, well, I shouldn't say sadly, I understand why this man fears for his life and for good reason. Because if he goes to start spilling the beans, I can guarantee you one thing, the Biden family is going to find, uh, just like the Clinton family, how to make sure you don't talk about what he knows. And that's where the problem comes in. And that's one of the reasons why he was afraid to reach back out to me was because that fear, but it looks like now he's willing to talk. He's made this recording. I'll attach that in the uh, description here for you below so that you can see that as well. Uh, again, don't forget tonight, we're gonna be there live with uh, Daily Excellence on Rumble. I'll put that link for you there as well. Let me real quick though, in closing, I wanna just mention some things here quickly about this video here of my father-in-law, The Dose Makes the Poison. And, uh, this is uh, this is him on your screen right there. And like I've said before, just a wonderful, wonderful man. But I, I have noticed, of course, the video is lengthy that we posted there. It took me almost an hour to be able to bring that information out. But I realize that some people may be missing the point and I have to be very cautious in how I word things. Um, what you really have to look at in that video when you watch that video is one, I'm showing you what uh, Dr. 
M, I'll just use that because we're here on YouTube right now, what she is actually saying in the interview with Dr. Uh, Northrop, what she says there in that interview there when she's giving her formula. She gives a formula for uh, nebulization, but, and even what she gives there is considered pretty crazy. I've actually gotten some emails from some uh, docs there that have said even that is extreme. But what she actually gave my father-in-law on the nebulization was eight times greater in strength. His entire epithelium, his throat, his tongue, his lungs, everything were chemically burned to the point he could not eat, swallow, or anything any longer. He could not even drink because of that. The IV that was given, if you look at what is said with Dr. North Throp, that IV is mentioned five to six cc's or mils of 3% food grade peroxide to an IV bag of 500 IV, IV, 500 mil IV bag. And again, the video was done two and a half months prior to coming to our home. But what was administered in our home was 21 milliliters or 21 cc's of 3% food grade peroxide intravenous to all three of us with a continuation of multiple times more. As I said, he then was transferred to Florida. This was shared with the docs there. And that was continued along with some other things, which I can't get into at this point right now. As I shared with you with what Dr. Ten Penny said, I'm, I'm kind of pausing in the names because I don't want the algorithm necessarily to pick this up that way. Um, as she stated, and I shared with you, let me just see if that'll actually, well, no, it doesn't come up like that. Um, I showed you how that she called the 21 cc's of peroxide a poison. The, the, the dose, as I think the way she puts it, and that's actually in the title of the video, that's where the video is titled, her statement to me was that the dose makes the poison. And then she wrote on there that the 21 cc's was a poison. That's one of her own colleagues. All right, so my, my point to you when you think about this is why would you publicly state what a protocol is two months earlier and then come to someone's home two and a half months later and give a protocol four times greater. In the case of the nebulization, eight times greater than what's mentioned in the video. And according to the doctor friend of mine in Orlando that actually does that type of nebulization, he said it was 80 times greater than what he uses in a, in a nebulization. And he's the one that said it was a death blow. The Saponero report said it led to my father-in-law's demise, both types of treatments. It makes you have to sit back and wonder what the motive was. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is not a matter of uh, malpractice. It's not a matter uh, of, I mean, you have, to, you have to really wonder what was the real intention. And I know that another doctor friend of ours that put this before the very community that has made this stand against the mandates and one after another, after another, after another texted back that a formula like that, well, they use the M word, M-U-R-D-E-R, that's what they used. I'm not saying that myself. 
I know that, and I'll say this as a conjecture, my wife could never understand for the life of her why 21 mils, why 21 mils of peroxide in an IV bag. And that's when I did the video trying to allude to, to you. Again, my own theory, it's a hypothesis. I don't say that it's right. I don't know. But the thing that came to my mind that day when my wife was so distraught over this was I could not help but say to her, the 21st degree Mason could have been symbolic. The 21st degree Mason is the executioner under those that violate the Noahide laws. Again, that's my own conjecture. And when I say that what my family has suffered, it is enormous. Even when we look at uh, Dale Cantrell, our attorney in Tennessee, you know, he's volunteered his time, but his firm, the, the, the experts, the, uh, the, the, all the other things that have to go with it, we have to pay for that. And, and that has already cost, you know, in the literally thousands. But his time that he's dedicated to, because he couldn't necessarily do it like a typical type of case because he realizes there was no insurance or anything. So it doesn't matter what you see in the, in the lawsuit itself, to ever really recuperate is a very slim chance in the first place. It's more symbolic, and for us, it was for it's it's for justice, you know. Um, even the medical bills, because my wife has to see a psychiatrist, the family sees a psychologist. Uh, my wife has been diagnosed with complex PTSD. Uh, both kids suffer with panic attacks and all kinds of issues that this family is going through. It is enormous. And, you know, and unfortunately, you know, we don't have insurance to cover everything like that. So it is, it has taken an enormous uh, beating on us as far as that. So I don't, I don't say that lightly. I'm not trying to, um, make it sound like oh please just you know give 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 no it's just letting you know what it's what it's done and not only that even with yana with her she's just now trying to come back almost two years now and she's just now trying to come back and reshare information with you and doing the videos this is why she's over on odyssey she knows that the information is so controversial. In fact, this is, we believe that this may be the reason. I, and again, that's my opinion. That's Steve's opinion. It may be the very reason why. There was an intent, in my opinion. It could be that it could be. And it's, I, alleged, I only say this allegedly. Was there an intent to silence the information that my wife was bringing to you? I know even with Richie from Boston, when he dare speak against Israel, that certain individual come unglued on him. So he can, he can attest to what I'm saying there. We're, it's a serious situation we're dealing with, friends. That's the best I can tell you. And I, I want to thank you. And I really, from the depth of my heart, I want to thank you, those of you that are, are helping us right now. Um, because we still got a long way to go, and there's a lot, lot more to this story. The cover-ups and everything else that are being done are enormous. And of course, there's no end of resources if what we suspect ends up playing out to be true. There's no end of resources that there is on the other side to make this go away. Thank you for your love, your prayers, your kindness uh, that you've shown our family in this time. And uh, we will be there. The next phase we're going to be coming out with is going to be dealing with cover-ups. And that's going to shock you. I promise you it will shock you. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Good evening. Join, join us over there with uh, Pastor Anthony on Rumble. God bless.